Yes, it all makes sense now. Her predicament is awfully similar to that of my own best friend. It's no wonder why she sees things the way she does. And yet here I am, just now placing the pieces together when the answer was clear from the start. I feel like such a fool. I feel so ashamed. What was that? Holy crap no, Mr. Cyborg. Damn. She got me good. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Mr. Cyborg, I'm coming. Don't move. Mr. Cyborg, hey, are you okay? Huh? What's going on? Where am I? Well would you look at that, you seem to be back to your old self. Joseph, is that you? It sure is. Oh good, I am glad that you're alive. It's great to see you again too. Where in the world are we? We are on the outskirts of Vion City. Okay, I got a big bone that I need to pick with you. What the hell was with all that rioting and plotting for revenge nonsense? You nearly killed me. I... I almost did. Um, Mr. Cyborg, what are you doing? Joseph, those scars, did I hurt you? Oh, these? No, it wasn't you. These were from when I received a brutal beating from Mecha Vengeance earlier. What? He beat you up. Are you okay? Ouch. Ugh, I'll live. He got me into a pretty bad shape, that's for sure. Oh, thank god it wasn't caused by me. That lifts a heavy burden off my heart. I'm still waiting for a response. Huh? What in the hell was with all that chaos you were causing? That form of which you saw Joseph, is my state of max power. State of max power? That is correct. I do whatever I can to not use this raw power. Cause whenever I do, I go berserk. Berserk? Indeed. I lose total control of myself whenever I unleash my max power. I transmute into an entity, whose bottled up emotions are ferociously expelled, and proceed to dwell up my own peace of mind. And all I can think about, is slaughter and revenge. But this, goes heavily against the sole reason for my own existence. Your, existence? Precisely Joseph. I was brought into this world, because I was said to be the example that would benefit all of mankind. I was created to be a landmark in the history of thanatology and robotic engineering. And marking my creator, Professor Frederick Enzo, a place in history, as the world's greatest scientist. Professor Frederick Enzo, the book I've been reading said exactly what you said. You were created by Professor Frederick Enzo. All right, all right, the cat is out of the bag. I thought it was pretty obvious that it was he who built me. We made a deal back out in the desert saying that if you studied up on the professor, I would take you to him. Have you forgotten our deal? Do you not trust me, Mr. Kelly? No. I haven't forgotten about the deal. And that's not to say I don't trust you Mr. Cyborg, it was just simply the big shock factor hearing from you that you actually are Professor Enzo's creation. Anyways, yes, I am a creation of his. So, tell me Joseph, have you learned anything about the professor since we last spoke yesterday morning? Look, now is not the time to chat, we've got an emergency. An emergency? My friends, they're in danger. They're in danger? What's happened to them? There's a riot happening downtown by the Vion Dome, and they're all caught in the middle of it. Say no more. Let's rescue them. Oh, what the? Surprise. Holy crap. Up, up, and away. Why is there a riot going on downtown anyway? Allow me to explain everything. One, very long, boring, explanation scene, later. And that's what all went down. Huh. Fascinating, to say the least. A friend of yours comes into town, Mecha Vengeance crashes the concert, you get beaten up, said friend is a lantive and turns into a super lantive, gets his identity revealed, and then igniting a riot. Anything that I'm leaving out? Nope, that's the basic gist of it. Quite a lot to swallow, but I think I understand all of it. Alright Joseph, we are almost on target. Roger that, hang on a second Mr. Cyborg. What? Have you come across Mecha Vengeance at all? Yes, I have. 
He's improved Joseph. He's learned how to maintain better control of his new battle suit upgrade. He isn't a big pushover, as he was the last couple of times him and I clashed with one another. Well, where is he now? Actually that's a good question. I gave him a humongous blast to the face, and then he disappeared into the nightly horizon. Knowing him, if he can survive from the lava of St. Helens, then he can survive that. Be aware of that Joseph. For all we know, even as we speak, he could be charging his way back here. Trust me, you have yet to realize what true failure is like. And I will be the most glad to show you. Basking in yourself aren't too much. You realize if it wasn't for that tacky hand-me-down you call a battle suit, you would just be a speck of dust just waiting to get swept off of the shoulder of my cybernetic body. Oh no. Can't. Hold on. Too. Powerful. <laughs> Who's the, the true failure, failure now, huh? That's, That's right, it is you. Ha 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 Ah, where is he? Get away from me, you monster. Help. Somebody help me. Help. 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 Ah. Thank goodness. It was just, only a bad dream. Ow. Man, geez, why do I feel like that I got ran over by a bus? And, where am I? What am I doing here in this forest? Wait a second, I remember now. Ah. Damn you Mr. Cyborg. Damn you all the way to hell. No one mocks my self-confidence and gets away with it. <laughs> 